Peace. Black Light Cyberspace Ministry of the Aboriginal Universal Supreme Conscious Council of the Elders. And we speaking on action speaks louder than words. A message to the young G's coming up in the belly of the beast. And, you know, we behind enemy lines. We got some brothers that are behind enemy lines, climbing the ladder of prosperity. A lot of controversy about them. But, you know, I don't know what their game is or whatever. I'm through speaking on them, trying to uh, see where they're coming from. And so, the bottom line is action speaks louder than words. The Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad already built an institution that he left behind and he didn't sell out to the Caucasian. Uh, it almost went that way, but it didn't. Thanks to uh, Minister Louis Farrakhan. Now, uh, Barry Gordon has sold out to the Caucasian. Barton sold out to the Caucasian. Uh, when you sell out to the Caucasian, it don't have to be about money all the time. Sometimes they can have something corrupt on you and you have to act accordingly and they use that as a weapon against you. Just like that uh, the election of Trump and Hillary, they was using immoral acts and criminal acts against each other but that was that it was that was made to manifest to y'all younger ones and older ones too to let you know that you know you are raised by Satan you're living in a society you're living in a world and the world is full of corruption and immorality you can't legislate immorality. And the laws of the universe, Mayat, and all its principles are illustrating itself to you. And they are acting out, you know, what words cannot uh, do. Because they say one thing and do another. And you judge a tree by its fruit, see. So, <clears throat> that's in the Bible too, you know. So, a lot of these brothers now is coming up, <clears throat> dictating to the, uh, the young ones who want to be followers that, uh, the Bible and Quran and all like this is messed up. The most honorable Elijah Muhammad say, yeah, well, it's, they got it hooked up, coded in such a way where if you don't uh, be divinely inspired and you cannot receive revelations out of it and you get suckered into another satanic world then you don't need it throw it in the garbage can because it's poisoning you so you need someone to come and drop some light on it and show you how it's really supposed to be uh, read and they got the supreme coding that override Caucasians code coding you know and that's why he was so successful the 
because he had the right uh, the right mind to do that with. And then he demonstrated his mind by building institutions called the Nation of Islam. It started off, you know, probably meeting in basements, then grew to halls, storefronts. Some brothers still operate out of storefront, but then they got a, a, a moss made out of gold in Chicago, and the most honorable Elijah Muhammad home, you know, meets modern standards. So he had two homes, and he had uh, a couple of wives. He got uh, two or three sets of children from grandchildren, and children from each of those wives, and they building up the nation further. So don't let don't let you young ones don't let these brothers come and give you their interpretation of what's going on, you know. Uh, you got to study that for yourself. And, you know, you don't have to join the Nation of Islam to get information. But you could go and sit in to some of their meetings and find out the real deal or there's a lot of literature in his books and it's easy to read and you can understand what's going on. Uh, action speaks louder than words nowadays. You know. Uh, you got to look around and see uh, You got to see who's building. You got a lot of flim flam artists out there that run flim flam on you. You know, con artists. The word consciousness got con in it. Con science. You know. Uh, but everything starts from the mind. And ideas and thoughts you know, a, a guy can be thinking one thing and saying another, you know. So that's why you got to go by the results or the fruits of his labor or the fruits of his actions. And if they giving back to the community, you know, I mean, building, man. You know, uh, buses, farms, boats, all this, Elijah Muhammad even had banks, he even had a real estate, uh, apartment buildings. If he didn't have it, the brothers in the nation had it because they were entrepreneurs. They had their own... Uh, companies, construction companies, you know, uh, grocery stores, you know, bakeries, uh, fish, they were selling fish, they had boats, they had, they had planes, and the last thing they was going to do was going to build a a hospital, black operated hospital. Because he knew that the Caucasian was going to be testing you and selling your body parts. Because that's big business, man. So they was going to sell you their uh, medicines. Uh, So he was telling you how to eat to live so you don't have to have 
medicine, pills and stuff like that. And now the only ones following his blueprint is the Caucasians. Because your mothers and fathers don't want to talk about Elijah Muhammad. Then these other guys come up, these Johnny Con lately, black men and women come up. They don't want to get with the Honorable Elijah Muhammad's program. You ain't got to join it, just follow the blueprint. Because the most honorable Elijah Muhammad, he uh, teach you how to live clean. You see, what y'all want to do is y'all want to have homosexual parties. Y'all want to mess with the net, commit adultery. You know, you see that all in the churches. You see uh, guys see somebody's wife, they want to get with them, get their wife. Or their husband, women. Oh, this is what Satan. You know, this is his. This is his way of life. You know, he tell you can only have one wife. But yet still, he go out and get a prostitute. He commit adultery. Uh, Clinton told you that. Come on, Bill Clinton. Uh, uh, the president, he cho he showed you that. Now he got a, a, a I heard a brother say he, if a, a black woman, something about a black woman, yeah, he got a, a guy can't claim to be his son, a black man claiming to be his son. And, uh, you know, uh, somebody's daughter was gay. I forget which one daughter was gay, I don't know. One of them daughters gay. You know, that's why they uh pushing for gay rights. You know. And see, that's why I know a whole lot of brothers don't join the Nation of Islam, man, because a long time ago, brothers, uh, when the nation was first starting, they had investigators, man. And once you join them, they'll check and see if you eating pork, check and see if you're messing with a white girl, and if they catch you, you might get set out, to get some time out the temple. That's when they was calling the monster temple, man. And them brothers back in them days, you know, they were some strong brothers. So, you know, y'all can't get with the nation, man, because y'all wanna, y'all wanna have, y'all wanna get these these women that wanna be conscious, black conscious women, and y'all come up, you know, with some knowledge and. Uh, they think y'all the way, but they don't want to dress like uh, the sisters dress, you know, in the nation, the MGT dress. They don't want to be disciplined, you know. They don't want to follow orders or instructions. They want to do things they way when they want to do it. So y'all can't hang with the nation's uh, the nation of Islam style or world or culture, you can't hang with that. So that's why y'all listen to these other brothers and get misled. There's God, you know, the universe, if y'all want to say God or Allah, we'll say the universe is showing you lessons, you know, pointing out the righteous way to go. And you see a whole lot of entertainers sitting in on the Nation of Islam meetings. It's a black light out.